As you can see, there's a person right now and looking for a group, looking for 10 ancient relic summon trolls. And these summon bosses, and a lot of people, when they're looking for these things, what they're looking for is for other individuals that's willing to run um, 10 trolls apiece with them. Um, the most casual one is five trolls. There's people that even do up to 100. Now, you do make profit, um, but the profit is really RNG. Um, so I want to show you guys a little bit how that goes. So you make a troll by these right here, ancient um, relic shards. So what you do is you make a X with them in your inventory. And I will show you guys how to do that in a second. First, you have to buy them. And this could be a really difficult part because so many people are buying these to do this farm because this is just a very good way to make money. Um, I wouldn't say it's better than grinding, but it's definitely something different. So there's tons of ways to make money in this game. I'm gonna come back when I have all five of these ancient relic shards to make a troll. Okay, so I have all five, and the first thing I wanna do is unclick auto arrange so I can properly arrange these in the right way. So there, and as you can see, a little plus goes up, and boom, here's the ancient relic troll, summon troll, and you right click it and hit yes, and the only reason you wanna right click it and hit yes from here is because then it's going to show you exactly where to go, and you're going to be right south of Caltheon City, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay, so this place is south of Caltheon, um, but when you make the trolls, it'll tell you exactly where it's at. Then, you know, you'll come here and it'll be a little island. You'll have to swim over. And as you can see, a bunch of people are constantly doing these trolls all day long, every day. If you ditch out on a party, you guys, they will blackball you and blast your name through the world chat so beware of that if you know if you don't if you feel that you don't have the time to sit there for about 40 minutes and do the trolls then I suggest not doing them because if you leave a party without doing your trolls well you know they'll they'll get you banned from doing these like they'll just have post your family name and stuff like that out there and people will write it down and you won't be able to find a party for it and that just that'll suck so don't do that it's not worth it trust me um so this is what i got from doing it so far i got 10 memory fragments and once you once you complete the quest on your five turns you get these little orbs right these little spears right here right um so i have my last quest right here and i'll show you see it gives you three of them so at the end of it, if you're only doing five trolls, you should have 15 of these, five from each. And then you open these up and see oh, potions. Hope. Okay, I just put a bunch of those items on my elephant. And let's open these last three. And as you see, they, they fill up your weight with these stupid potions. Like Potions are horrible in this game. Let's see, put those over there. And I made out with 29 memory fragments and 53 um, hunter sills. And I got this stuff on the same. It's not really worth anything, really. Like, this is just light stuff that you get from there. Really, all the money comes from these. And I would say. I had to buy 25 ancient relics and I bought the ancient relics at 750,000 a piece which came up to about 18 million so we're gonna go sell all this stuff and see how much money I've made now this is not uh, accurate you know amount that you're gonna be getting every time you guys do this you're going to be getting it's really RNG like some people get 35 40 memory fragments per run but it seems like 30 is about like average and for hunter seals some people get anywhere from 50 to 70 hunter seals and this extra stuff is just extra stuff that's barely even equals out to 
I would say 200,000 so I'm not gonna count that whatsoever I did get a little bit of shards black stones but not all of these came from there so I'm not gonna count those either because those probably only come up to about 1 mil total but I spent 18 mil so let's go see if I make more than 18 mil back okay so I did the math and for the shards the shards just the memory fragments alone cover me for the um, ancient relics that I got so that covers that price and everything else from these hunter seals would be a bonus so I would say you probably make about five to seven mil profit um, if you're unlucky and I'm guessing I'm unlucky because some people tell me that they make 10 to 15 million and stuff like that I haven't got that results um, but I hope you guys do so as you can see here my grand total is 26 mil um not bad that means i did have a profit um i would say my profit would be about seven mil so my earlier calculation was right so it was about five to seven mil profit and i didn't look out like some other people some other people got almost 40 memory shards and i didn't so good luck you guys hopefully you guys have better luck than i do